Did you know that this shot, this shot, and this shot is all shot using two different tele lenses for your smartphone? Let me explain. What's up guys, welcome back to Kel Honest Guide. My name is Razif and today I'm going to do a comparison between the uh, two tele lenses, the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens and the Apexel 2x tele lens. So what's going to happen is I'm going to show you the uh, photo comparison between the two tele lenses and I'm going to show you the uh, video comparison between the two lenses. Then I'm going to show you the compatibility of these lenses with two different gimbals. Let's go. Okay, the first example here is shot using the Apexel tele lens. You can see that the flower in the middle is clear, the background is blur, it's good. This is using the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens. Same thing, the flower is clear, the background depth of field is good. Now this side by side shot we can see that both lenses show similar results now let's go to the second example side by side shot we can see that the apexel and the ulanzi in the middle it's clear we can see the detail of the flower the depth of field is good this is the third example same thing the middle of the flower is crystal clear the depth of field the background blur is acceptable things starts to get interesting when we have a wide shot of a subject like this example here with the apexel tele lens everything is clear the edges are okay acceptable the middle is clear but with the ulanzi now the middle of the clock is crystal clear but the edge here it's soft it's blurry this is shot using the apexel you can see that everything is clear the edges is okay this is shot using the Ulanzi, the edges are soft. The second example here, I'm panning to the left, so focus on the boy with the orange shirt here. You can see that with the Apexel lens, it is clear, the edges are okay, the middle is okay. But when I use the Ulanzi, as I pan to the left, focus on the boy with the orange shirt. Now, the edges are soft, you can see that there's a difference here. This shot using the Paxel lens, everything's okay, it's clear, the middle is good. Overall, edges are fine. With the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens, again, the middle is clear, everything is good. But just look at the edges here again, the same thing occurs again. Soft edges, blurry edges, it can be overcome by zooming in. As you focus on the horse here with the Paxel lens, everything is good. The horse is clear right in the middle. Edges again is clear. But with the 65mm tele lens, now focus on the horse. You can see that it is blurry. The edges is soft, it's blurry. The horse in the middle is clear, crystal clear also again can be overcome by zooming in. Before we continue, if you guys want to uh, check out how these lenses were used, please watch two of these videos because two of these videos were shot using the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens and two of this video is shot using the Apexel tele lens. Check them out. Now the Feutex Crop Mini Gimbal can hold the weight of the Apexel tele lens and it can also hold the weight of the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens which is a bit heavier than the Apexel lens but as you can see here the lens is mounted in this way because the weight of the lens it has to be in the middle of the, uh, the gimbal so it will not be heavy on the left side or the right side so it has to be mounted like this now if you use a smartphone gimbal like a Zhiyun Smooth 5 the Apexel lens which is a bit heavy the Zhiyun Smooth 5 can hold the weight of the lens with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now both iPhone 13 and the lens it is a bit heavy but you don't need additional weight required to counter it so it can hold the weight. The same for the Ulanzi 65mm tele lens which is a bit heavier than the Apexel lens. That weight together with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the Zhiyun Smooth 5 can hold both of their weight combined. So guys, that's it for today's episode. Hopefully you liked what you just watched today. Hopefully uh, you have a clear decision which lenses you want to get. Uh, both lenses can be used with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. There is a slight difference with the uh, soft edges, but both uh, lenses can be used in different situations. 
I'll put the link on both of these lenses in the uh, description below. Check them out. And also the phone case in the description below. That's it guys for today's uh, tech review or phone accessories reviews. I'll see you in the uh, next episode. This is KL Honest Guide. My name is Razif. Stay curious my friends. Thank you.